I was just kind of scrolling through Roblox, you know, trying to think of a video idea. And I thought, since we just did a video on uh, Roblox's weirdest games, why don't we just do a video on Roblox's showcase games? Or some of Roblox's really nice looking games that honestly don't even look like Roblox. Like they look like something else, uh, just like a completely different game. Um, but if we get right into it here, rated on a scale of 10 for lighting and then another 10 points out of 10 for just like aesthetic, I guess. Uh, okay, I think we should start out with something that pretty much blew me away uh, the first time I saw it. The Morning Light Showcase. Uh, this is a really nice one. Let's just, let's, let's just play it. All right, so already a good start with a nice loading screen. All right, and we're in. I believe the game is first person only. All right, so the lighting looks looks nice. Uh, you got really nice water. I'd say the lighting out of 10 is probably eight. Uh, and I'd just say the aesthetic of the game is nice. You know, nice color correction with the yellow and stuff. Uh, you got really nice uh, custom textures for the grass as well as just Roblox's regular grass. Uh, and a really nice horizon of mountains, as you can see. Like you got a really nice you know, horizon and some really nice custom trees. So out of 10, uh, for the aesthetic, I'd probably give this a solid nine. I really like the aesthetic in this game. I think it's really nice. Um, so in total, uh, combining the two points, it has a total of 17, uh, which is a pretty good start. 17 out of the 20 total aesthetic and um, lighting points. All right, so moving on from morning light, uh, we've got Toyokawa Inari Shrine. I'm sorry if I'm saying that really wrong, um, but this game is insane. I'm, I'm not even kidding. It, let's just get into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. It's so good. Like, I don't really have a way to describe it, but it is really, really nice. Yeah, look at this game. Oh my goodness. Is that even Roblox? Like, look at that. Holy moly, this is not even Roblox. And that's not even the good part yet. So we can come up here through the stairs. Uh, and I'm sorry if it's a little laggy for you guys. So let's go up the stairs here. And as you can see, you got a really nice water fountain here. You know, you got a ton of custom 3D modeling going on here. All of this is custom. I don't think they built this in studio. I think a lot of this was imported from a modeling software. But if you look at this, wow, like look at that. The morning light is just kind of like shining in, kind of like the name of the other game actually. But holy moly, this game looks so nice. Uh, and so on aesthetic, I'm gonna give it a, a nine, I'd say, just because of the, the lanterns and you've got like the old, the whole like Japanese kind of vibe, you know. And then I think with the, um, the lighting, I'm also gonna give it a nine, just cause like the lighting is really nice. Uh, the way they've placed it so that it kind of shines into the house uh, and they've made room for that is really, really nice. So that I think that is deserves a solid nine points too. So that totals it up to 18 points in total. If anything, I think I'm not giving it enough points, but yeah, 18 points out of the 20 total. We got Summer Forest uh, and this game just from screenshots looks so, so good. Okay, we're in. I'm gonna, I'll turn down, all right. You know, I'll just sit here, uh, but look at that. That is such a nice shot right there. Like, that looks like something you would make in 3D modeling software and then render. That's how good it looks. Uh, the way the sun comes in through the trees, that is just so good. Out of lighting, that is 10, 100%. Just the way they've placed the trees and the sun so that it comes through the trees, 10, solid 10. Um, Although, I think for aesthetic, it is just a forest. I do like the bird noises and stuff, but I'm only gonna have to give it an eight on that. You know, it's there's not really much. I feel like they could have put a house in here or something, made it a lot nicer. Um, but hey, I'm not one to judge. I've never made one of these games before. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably give it a solid eight on that. So that's 18 points out of the 20 total. But yeah, this is a really, really nice game. Uh, you should definitely go check it out. Probably the laggiest of the games um, we're gonna play. But yeah, that's Summer Forest. All right, so moving on, we've got The Canyon. Uh, just a teaser, I think, for an upcoming game. This is a very nice game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like an OG game out of them, but it is definitely probably the one of the 
most well-known showcase games on the platform uh you just got a really really solid game and as they said it's only a teaser um i think they're going to be doing some more stuff trailer is going to be doing some more stuff with these effects he's got here but wow this game is so nice like ignoring the stuff that hasn't loaded yet let's just get right in you got nice little sunray effects um but yeah just look at this man that is so nice you know you're driving through the canyons oh my goodness like this already like half the game boom that's a solid i would give it on aesthetic a nine solid nine on aesthetic and then on just kind of lighting 10 100 percent a 10 way he's just got the light coming down looks so nice like look at that and then you've got like these sections of tunnel boom that's that's quality right there uh but if we zoom through this tunnel real quick like look at this that's a 10 on lighting most definitely like i cannot drive but <laughs> you, you you see what i'm getting at here uh i think you know what i mean with this like kind of windowed tunnel almost and like this that is so good right there that's a solid yeah that deserves a 10 on lighting on aesthetic i don't know like oh okay hold on this is nice wait there's water under here to oh all right so if you look at that he's placed water under here to give it that you know the wet effect of like the road being hit with the, the mist i think that's really really nice 19 points in total and as you can see the game is unfinished um so yeah that was the canyon all right, so I think the final game that we're gonna be looking at is Shanye or Shanyu. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, um, but this is probably the smallest game on our list with only 500,000 visits. Um, now I did get this game from Kaneko Kitten, uh, another Roblox YouTuber, <laughs> um, but this game looks really nice. Like just from these screenshots, doesn't quite look like Roblox. If we get into it here, um, but wow look at that this is not roblox right here this is something else um i I'm, i don't think i'm even on max settings okay i am um but yeah there's motion blur when you move your camera and i know i'm getting a ton of frames but that's fine um wow like look at the detail that went into this game it looks so good you first of all i like i, I can't even list how many good things there are you got water droplets falling on your screen um, that slide and then disappear. Um, you got trees that are like moving in the wind. Uh, and it's, you've got rain effects. All right, looks nice. You got motion blur when you move your camera, like boom, boom, boom. You got wind coming around. Um, look at this, you got like fallen branches on the ground. You got leaves off of the trees. Like this game looks so good. It just doesn't quite look like Roblox. It doesn't resemble Roblox at all. Um, if we look at this, like look at the detail that went into making this statue. Wow. It, it kind of blows you away when you think about it. This is still Roblox. This is still the game that, you know, I'm like has games like Shino Life and you know, simulator games. This is still that game. Like, it's pretty amazing to think. Uh, you've got, like, cinematic bars on the top and bottom, which adds another layer of aesthetic. It's like a movie scene, almost. Um, but out of 10, aesthetic, 10. Easily. I, I love the Japanese aesthetic. I, you know, it's something I think we can all agree on. Looks pretty, pretty nice. For lighting, I think this game is on the, the end of a 10. Just because, like, there's no... And I know the sun isn't out, so I can't really... You know, the lighting doesn't really go for this game. I would consider good lighting, you know, sun rays coming down. You've got nice shadows everywhere. Uh, and I still think you have that. This looks really nice. Um, and, like, you do have the sun kind of, like, hiding behind the clouds there. Um, so I am going to give it a 10 as well. Like, you got nice shadows. But I think the thing that makes this look the best is probably the moving trees. Like, look at that. The trees are moving. Um, 20 total. And, yeah, this is, like, probably the best game uh, out of showcase games I've seen so far. 
if you have any better games for me, just leave them in the comments. Um, but I think this is probably one of the best games I've ever seen, showcase-wise. Uh, but yeah, that has been Raptor Flyer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You know, it just helps out the channel a ton. Uh, and if you're new here, just join the Discord. Um, it's a pretty nice community, although I'm not active enough on it. <laughs> um, you got a really nice um, squad of mods, you could say. Uh, you've just got nice people all around, I think. No, everyone's pretty nice in there. And then also, 5k subs, Roblox merch coming out. And a giveaway on the Discords. A ton of stuff. Um, yeah, so join that. Um, yeah. And that, that has been Raptor Flyer. I hope you enjoyed, and hope you have a nice day. Peace out, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.